Hi, welcome to Extend Office. This is a complete instructional video demonstrating how to split cells in Excel. This video demonstrates different methods to help you split cells into multiple columns or rows by a specified delimiter in Excel. Let's start with the first part, split cells into multiple columns. Suppose you have a list of full names in the range A2 to A7 and you want to split each full name into separate first and last names and place the split data in separate columns. This section will demonstrate four ways to help you accomplish this task. Let's go over these methods one by one. The text to column wizard is the first method using to split cells into columns. Here, I will show you step by step how to use this wizard to achieve the desired result. Select the cells you wish to split. In this case, I select the range A2 to A8. Go to the Data tab, click Text to Columns. In the Step 1 of 3 wizard, select the Delimited option and then click the Next button. In the Step 2 of 3 wizard, select the Delimiters for your data and then click the Next button to continue. In the last wizard, you need to select a cell to place the split data and then click the Finish button. Full names in selected cells are separated into first and last names and located in different columns. Now we come to the second method, using QTools to split cells into multiple columns easily. Compared to the text to columns wizard, QTools for Excel does all the setup in one dialog box, making the whole setup process much easier. After installing QTools for Excel, go to select QTools. Merge and Split Split Cells In the Split Cells dialog box, select the range of cells containing the text you wish to split. Select the Split to Columns option. Select Space or any delimiter you need and click OK. In another popping up dialog box, select a destination cell and click OK to get all split data. Now let's move on to the third method, using Flash Fill to split cells into columns. Flash Fill was introduced in Excel 2013 and was designed to automatically fill your data when it senses a pattern. In this case, I am going to split the full names in column A into separate first and last names. The first full name is in cell A2, so I select the cell B2 adjacent to it and type the first name. Start typing the second first name into the cell below B2. Excel then recognizes the pattern and generates a preview of the rest of the first names. Then you need to press Enter to accept the preview. Now all first names of full names in column A are separated in column B. You need to repeat the same steps to split the last names from the full names in column A into the column next to the first name column. You can also access the flash fill with one of the following methods. After typing the first name in cell B2, select the range B2 to B7, press Ctrl and E keys to automatically fill the rest of the first names. Or you can access flash fill by the ribbon. For example, after typing the last name in cell C2, select the range C2 to C7, go to click Home, Fill, Flash Fill to access the Flash Fill feature. Now, we are done with the third method. The last method is to apply formulas to split cells into multiple columns in Excel. The previous methods are not dynamic, which means if the source data changes, then we need to rerun the same process over again. If you want to have the split data update automatically with any changes in the source data, please try the formulas in this section. The text functions provided in this section are available in all Excel versions. To apply the formulas, do as follows. Firstly, we need to extract the text before the first delimiter. In this case, I need to split the first name from the full name. So I select a cell to output the first name, enter this formula into the formula bar and press enter to get the first name. Select this result cell and drag its autofill handle down to get the rest of the first names. Then we need to extract the text after the first delimiter. Here are the last names. 
I select a cell to output the last name, enter this formula into the formula bar, and press enter to get the result. Select this result cell and drag its autofill handle down to get the rest of the last names. These formulas work well if there are only two pieces of text separated by a delimiter. If a cell contains more than two texts divided by spaces that need to be split, the second formula provided above will return incorrect result. In this case, you need additional formulas to correctly split the second, third, and up to the nth value separated by spaces. You can use this formula to return the second word separated by spaces. Here I need to split the middle name of full name. Use the same formula, but change the second 100 to 200 to return the third word separated by spaces. Here we get the last names. By changing 200 to 300, 400, 500, etc. in this formula, you can obtain the fourth, fifth, sixth, and subsequent words. If you are using Excel for Microsoft 365, the text split function is more recommended. Select a cell to output the result. Here I select the cell C2. Enter the text split formula. And then press the enter key. You can see that all the text separated by spaces in A2 is split into different columns. Select the result cells in the same row, then drag the autofill handle down to get all results. Now we have completed all the methods for splitting cells into multiple columns by specified delimiter. Now we come to the second part of the video, split cells into multiple rows in Excel. Suppose you have a list of order details in the range A2 to A4 and the data needs to be split using a slash to extract different types of information such as item, quantity, unit price and date. This section will demonstrate four ways to help you accomplish this task. Let's go over these methods one by one. The first method will introduce the text split function for splitting cells into multiple rows. If you are using Excel for Microsoft 365, the text split function method can easily help. Select a cell to output the result. Enter this formula. And then press the enter key. Now all text in A2 is split into separate rows based on the slash separator. To split data in cells A3 and A4 into individual rows based on slashes, you need to apply the following formulas. Use this formula to split data in cells A3 into individual rows based on slashes. Then use this formula to split data in cells A4 into individual rows based on slashes. The formula part is now complete. Now we come to the second method, using Q tools for Excel to split cells into multiple rows easily. Although Excel's text split function is very useful, it is limited to Excel for Microsoft 365 users. In contrast, QTools for Excel's split cells feature is working across all Excel versions. It provides a straightforward, efficient solution to split cells into multiple rows or columns at once with just a few clicks. After installing QTools for Excel, go to select QTools. Merge and split. Split cells. In the split cells dialog box, Select the range of cells containing the text you wish to split. Select the Split to Rows option. Specify a delimiter you need, here I select the other option, and enter a slash. And then click the OK button. In another popping up dialog box, select a destination cell and click OK to get all split data. The third method will show you how to apply VBA code to split cells into rows. Press the Alt and F11 keys to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. In this window, click Insert, Module, and then enter the VBA code into the Module Code window. The link to the video-related tutorial is placed in the description section of the video. You can open the tutorial to copy the VBA code if needed. After entering the VBA code, press the F5 key to run the code. 
In the first popping up dialog box, select the cells with the data you want to split, and then click the OK button. In the second popping up dialog box, select the output range, and then click the OK button. In the third popping up dialog box, enter the delimiter used to split the cell contents, and then click the OK button. Cells in the selected range are split into multiple rows at the same time. The last method for splitting cells into multiple rows by certain delimiter is to use Power Query. This method only works in Excel 2016 and later versions. Although this method makes the split data dynamically change with the source data, it requires multiple steps to complete. Let's dive in to see how it works. Select the cells you want to split into multiple rows. Here I select the list including the header. Go to Select Data from Table or Range. If the selected cells are not Excel table format, a Create Table dialog box will pop up. In this dialog box, you just need to verify if Excel has picked your selected cell range correctly, mark if your table has header, and then click the OK button. A Table Power Query Editor window pops up, click Split Column by Delimiter under the Home tab. Now you need to configure the Split Column by Delimiter dialog box. In the Select or Enter the Delimiter section, specify a delimiter for splitting the text. In this example, Excel automatically assigns a slash as a separator for the data, which shoots my needs. Therefore, I left the setting unchanged. Expand the Advanced Options section, which is folded by default, and select the Rows option. In the Quote Character section, choose None from the drop-down list. And then click the OK button. Then you need to save and load the split data. In this case, as I need to specify a custom destination for my split data, I click Close and Load, Close and Load to under the Home tab. In the Import Data dialog box, choose the existing worksheet option, select a cell to locate the split data, and then click OK. Then all cells in the selected range are split into different rows within the same column by specified delimiter. The Power Query method is complete. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.